What is up guys, it's the Nimnim here, and today we are going to be playing more of the Binding of Isaac. So last time we played as Cain, so this time we're going to play as Judas, because I am going through all the characters before we get into the achievements. And we'll start playing, just start playing first item, seven, uh, the Book of Sin. I don't know why I said seven, I guess it's because... Alright, didn't give us anything useful. What it does is every six rooms it will... Uh, it will give us, like, a passive pickup is what I should call it, I guess. It's like a key or a bomb or money or a heart. And then, uh, Judas is a great character. I really like Judas. He's, even though he starts with really low health, he starts with tons of damage. 35% more than Isaac, I'm pretty sure. And I think he has a damage multiplier, so every damage upgrade is better for him, essentially. Every up up damage upgrade gives him more damage. There we have a key, that's great. We could go to the shop if we wanted to. Not really necessary. But, uh, we did start on Curse of Darkness, which means that we can't see the minimap in the top left corner. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little sniffly. But that is okay because the first floor is usually the smallest so we can't go to the curse room or that'll kill us because it takes we take damage when we walk in and walk out we don't have that much damage to take so uh i'm pretty sure the secret room is right here right down here but we don't have any bombs to check that so i guess we'll just walk in to the boss which is famine famine i don't like fighting him as uh, Judas because not only does he give us a cube of meat instead of a health upgrade, but uh, he can also one-shot us with one of his attacks. I mean, not anymore. He can't one-shot us with the tears. Now he can. But he's dead, luckily. So pick up our cube of meat. And uh, this is a tinted rock. It gives us a soul heart, usually, or some sort of helpful item when we blow it up. But we don't have any bombs, so I can't blow it up. So there's nothing left to do on this floor. Not the best of floors. Item room wasn't that helpful. I don't think we actually picked up any pickups besides the cube of meat. Uh, that fire isn't good. There we go, gotta put it out. But the fire makes the hoppers into flaming hoppers, which, uh, are more annoying. And they usually cause me to take more damage. We have two keys so we can go to the item room, and we get the mulligan. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I'm pretty sure now we, sh we can shoot kamikaze flies, which do twice our damage, which is really good. But I don't know how useful this item will be in the long run. Hopefully it'll be pretty useful. Yeah, there we go. We did get a soul heart from this room, that's awesome. I don't think I uh, talked about Judas's starting item, the Book of Belial. Well, the book, what the Book of Belial does is on the room that you use it, it gives you two plus two damage, which is great, and it charges every three rooms. But I'm not really using it much because I, I usually just save it for the boss on the first couple floors because I like to having a charge for the boss to make the boss fight go quicker for it to be easier. I'd really like a health upgrade right now. That's usually the most essential thing when you're Judas. We did just pick up a random key, so that's good. Uh, we did not find the boss this way, which is mainly what I'm looking for, because we don't really have much else to do on this floor if we don't pick up some bombs or something. I think there was a tinted rock in the room, two rooms to our, uh, to our right. But I can't blow it up, I can't blow it up once again, because I don't have any bombs, which sucks. Because tinted rocks are usually really helpful. Uh... We just have two kamikaze flies following us because we don't use our use our kamikaze flies in battle. They'll just follow us around until we do use them, which is pretty useful. It would be great if we could become Guppy and then we'd spawn kamikaze flies whenever we hit with a tier, which would be awesome. But you do have to pick up three power ups uh, to become Guppy. Three certain power ups, and they usually cost deals with the devil. And I almost took damage there. That would that would have been really bad. 
Uh, if we get a devil room this floor, not gonna be very useful, honestly. Because, uh, I really thought I was gonna take damage there. But if we get a deal with the devil, it's not gonna be useful because we don't have any hearts to trade for it. Unless I'm gonna do something really crazy. Uh, uh, you almost got me. Alright, yeah, we did get the deal with the devil. We got this HP upgrade, so if there's one hard deal that I want, I can take it. Ooh, this is a predicament. I'm gonna take Guppy's Tail. What Guppy's Tail does is it spawns more chests for us to use in the future. The other item was Forget Me Now, which, uh... It lets us restart the floor, but I didn't really want to do that. Just because we'd lose our bookable aisle, because it is a spacebar item. Um, so, things are going to be okay for us now. This could be a good run, potentially. Except for this room. Alright, there we go. Thank you, Kamikaze Flies. Uh, I really hate these enemies. Bee Lickers, they're just the worst. They're like Larry Juniors, except they split up when you kill one of them. And their pattern of movement is really unpredictable. Die. We haven't gotten any damage upgrades, and they're finally a bomb. But we haven't found a Tinted Rock yet, which is what I assumed to happen when we did find a bomb. I really don't like this room. Ow. Oh, thank you, Cube Meat. That was so close. Yeah. No, not worth it. We just used the key to open that golden chest and gave us Tarot Card the Chariot, which lets us be uh, invincible for 7 seconds and damage any enemies that we come into contact with. It sounds pretty good when you just talk about it like that, but it's not very good. Not much use to it. It would be very useful if we were maybe Blue Baby, because with Blue Baby we can steal deals with the devil, but we are Blue Baby, so that's not happening. Uh, I haven't found anything that I want to go to yet, like the boss or the item room. And there are two possible locations for the secret room right now that I can see. They're in these two horseshoes on the map. I'm just gonna go down here. Nope, not the item room. So it's this way. Uh, uh, oh, I thought, really thought I could get that TNT. There we go. That was awesome. Golden key lets us open everything on the floor, it, and it doesn't use our keys, which is awesome. So I'm going to walk in here, grab the Book of Revelations, the Book of Shadows, put them both down, because I like the Book of Lyle better. I'm, I want to go fight the boss. I want I, I want to use the Book of Revelations, but it makes our boss... Uh, it makes our boss automatically pestilence, which gives us another cube of meat, and I don't really want another cube of meat right now. So that's awesome. Chocolate milk, you know what? It's an annoying item, because you have to tap every time you want to fire a tear, but I'll just pick it up this time. Yeah. This is gonna be... Annoying. Ow. That was bad damage, but, uh... Oh no, that was really bad damage. I still want a health upgrade, even though I did spend my only health upgrade on deal with the devil. No reason not to open it, I have the golden key, so I can open everything on the floor. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fight the boss, and that's not pestilence, which is great, because I really need a health upgrade right now. Uh, the hollow is probably the easiest boss on the catacombs. Cuban Meat just did a ton of damage right there. Because the cube meat does damage enemies and it blocks up enemies' tears. I never explained that. But, um... Yeah. It does a lot of damage, but it's really risky to use because you can take a lot of damage yourself, and I can't really afford that right now. Stem cells. It's a health upgrade, but it's also a shot speed upgrade. Health upgrade's great. Shot speed upgrade means our tears travel faster. As It's not like a range upgrade. It means that they travel faster along the screen. And it's really bad because it uh, it makes enemies bounce around in weird patterns that suck. So I'm going to use the Book of Revelations now. It gets us that soul heart, which is great. 
But since we already fought the boss, we can't fight Pestilence. I have no idea where the secret room is, but I am gonna go to the shop. Just because I can. Because I have this golden key. Which is great. Soul Heart. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to see. And I'll buy this key, because next floor we won't have the golden key. The ladder... The la that's a, that was the 15 cent item in there. It was It's a passive upgrade, and it lets you cross gaps that are one wide. Or, like, one long or something. Not very good, especially considering you can just find flight and it becomes p completely useless. The form of, say, like, Spirit of the Night or Transcendence. There's nothing really left for us to do on this floor. Can't pick up the heart. I need more heart containers. Uh, yep, that's it. Next floor. Still haven't used the chair yet. I don't know what I'm saving it for, though. No. That's a teleport. Not very good. You use it, and it teleports you to an another room on the floor. And it can't teleport you to the I Am Error room. Which sucks. The I Am Error room is a room uh, that you can access only by teleporting. But I think you can only access it by teleporting with telepills. So, uh, it usually contains items. Or maybe pills or something. Uh, boom, or remote detonator. It's it's an okay item, honestly, but picking it up gives us five bombs, which is great. And, uh, don't really want to keep it. Book of Bile is probably one of the better spacebar items in this game. Secret room was not right there, unfortunately. I want to do the challenge room just because I want to show this glitch. But I'm not going to, because I don't really want to do the challenge room. This room kind of sucks. Uh, screw it. I'm using Book of Isle here. It'll be really helpful. We still haven't got a damage upgrade, which I think is really surprising. But we, the mulligan is very helpful. Uh, Larry Jr. I think I saw Larry Jr. just kind of glitch through that rock right there, and then he damaged us, which is kind of really stupid damage. There we go. He's dead. I'm gonna shoot all this poop in case we get a drop, such as like a half heart or a cent. And uh, I just want to find the boss, honestly. We don't have enough money to go to the shop. It's not worth it. Screw it. I'm using it here. This poop with the white fly, you can't kill the white fly until you kill the poop. Then you can just leave the room and it'll disappear. Yeah, I want to go get that pill. Hopefully it'll be useful. Tears up, that's awesome. Now we can fire faster. It's essentially a fire rate up. No, that's what it is. Alright, we're just going to fight the boss. Chug. Eh. Not my favorite boss to be fighting, but... It's okay. Especially considering we just took a heart of damage there, and almost again. I like Judas's base speed. It's really nice. It's just above Isaac's. Aww. Oh, man, that's a sucky power-up. Pageant Boy is a power-up we got from the, uh, boss. And it gives you seven random coins. Oh my god, I can't believe that took damage there. And now we're fighting the Fallen in our deal with the Devil Room. Which is pretty good. It gives us the lump of coal, which is a damage up. It uh, it depends on how much of a damage up it is, depending on how long our tears are on the screen. Oh my god, I'm taking all the damage here. Why don't I just die here? This run could be over at any second, which would suck. No! Oh, oh god, that was close. <sighs> So we lived, which is great, and that means we got the lump of coal, and yep, there's a half heart in here, which is also great. There's nothing I can do about this, so I'm just gonna pick it up. We did get a dime out of it, which is awesome, it gives us ten cents. If I didn't say it already, uh, the lump of coal increases our damage, 
depending on not necessarily how long our tears have been on the screen, but how many frames they've been on the screen. When we blow up that fire, some of these become fire hoppers. And that red hopper could kill me. Immediately. I was really wishing it dropped a heart. Tears up, awesome. That's great. It means we fire even faster. These are kind of annoying, but these flies, I don't know what you call them. I know what the I know the boom flies. Another pill. Hopefully this one's just as good as the two tears ups I've gotten. Bad gas. Well, it wasn't bad. Uh, I am gonna check for the secret room right here. I'm not gonna do it in this room though. But because uh, I don't want to run to the spikes, which would kill me instantly. Hopefully the secret room's right there. Nope, it is not. Um, three uh, rooms of uh, uh, patterns of three rooms are more likely to have secret rooms than patterns of four. But I did just check there, just in case. Coin and bomb. That's okay. We're getting all these chests because of Guppy's, uh, Guppy's tail. Which is great. I love Guppy's tail. Tapping on this is getting kind of annoying, though. Well, at least I know where the secret room is now. It's right here. There we go. A bunch of money makes the shop... I mean, the shop was already a great option. I don't know why I didn't go there. So I'm gonna head over to the shop now with our only remaining key. Haven't picked up very many items this run, but I think we're doing pretty good. Hopefully I don't die in that room from just hitting a random spike, or this room. And we are fighting greed, which sucks, because I really needed some health. Uh, oh no, come on. Well, we're at a half heart now, anything could kill us. And we don't even have a key to open that, so that really sucks. We could die at any moment, and that would suck because this would be a, a short run if it, if I did. But at least we made it to the depths. Let's just say that. Can't go to the curse room; it would immediately kill us. Um, devil room's still there. That's still, that's surprising. Not still surprising. I don't know if I ever talked about it, but I picked up the rusted key, which is a. Uh, if I can remember the freaking name. Oh god, not this room. The rusted key is a trinket. That's, yeah, that's what it is. No idea what it does. It might make it more likely for keys to spawn, but I don't really see that happening at all. Um, yeah. Our run is over, unfortunately. It was an okay run, but I took tons of dumb damage. But... Uh, yeah, next time we'll play as the next character in the list. And thanks for watching. Nim Nim out, I guess. Nim Nim out. I don't, I don't know how I'm doing my exits. Bye. Bye.